your tree type and fatigue. Now, why would I want to talk about tired trees? Well, um, if you have been journeying with tall trees for a number of years, um, we started out in 2012 and maybe you've known our work and you've participated in workshops and have done all sorts of profiles with us. But if you haven't, then you missed a crucial beginning to this company. And that is, we actually grew out of the mother company called Evergreen Parenting that was based on a book called Growing Kids with Character. And the book Growing Kids with Character tried to help parents understand their children's personality type. Um, and that book has been rewritten, but the original one had this little checklist with characteristics for kids and it had a section for um, babies, one for toddlers and, and so forth, up to teenagers. And parents could, you know, tick the list and add it all up and figure out which three types combined in their kids. Now we have since become a little, well, a lot more sophisticated and now have a 360 test for children of that age where other parents or uh, teachers or coaches can also weigh in on a child's personality and the reason for that is of course that we can't see our own, own children very clearly research has shown that and we are not objective enough when it comes to them <laughs> so we need other people to help see them clearly but there was another little disclaimer in that book and it said that there are phases in a child's life when we cannot accurately see temperament because something else is going on developmentally like in the terrible twos when they all look like rose bushes and when the tantrums are so frequent and when their favorite word is no but there was still a little clue as to how to get to their true temperament if they are in that phase where it's so hard to see who they really are and that was to look among you know a few other pointers to their behavior when they are tired, how they become tired, what makes them tired and how they act when they are fatigued. So I'm going back to that original claim that that is one of the contexts in which we see temperament the clearest is when we are done. And it's of course because then we are too tired to pretend to be somebody else. We're too tired to fake it. And, and even if at work, or in my family, I may have the energy most of the day to adapt and to put on my best face and, and to bite my tongue and so forth. Something completely different happens when all of that energy has been drained out of me and I'm at the end of the day and I'm running on empty. So fatigue just shows us off in our true colors. Now, um, of course, we can talk about what fatigues the different trees, what drains us. And that's a topic for another day. And also what to do about it and how to handle it better. So, but today's topic is just, this is what it looks like. So the purpose of this video is to help you understand what is normal in fatigue, if you already know your personality style, and also how to use the signs you see in your children, your colleagues, your spouse, when they are tired to have a keener eye for their true temperament that underpins those patterns. So here we go. Let's start with the boxwoods for a change. Now, unfortunately, um, boxwoods are, are not great when we are exhausted. We are really not um, fun when we are, well, pretty much not fun, period. But we are even less fun when we are exhausted. So and I'm allowed to say it because I've got so much boxwood in me, so don't shoot the messenger. You can see it in our body language. Our posture changes. It's as though our muscle tone um, bleeds out. We are um, pale when we are exhausted. Everything in our system tells, tells you that we're tired. We can't hide it and makeup can't hide it and lighting can't hide it. It is just there. And it is most noticeable in our voice. Now, our limbic brain is that brain where we process emotion and I'm obviously oversimplifying, but there is a nerve running straight from there to our vo vocal cords. And that is why we can call a boxwood and the moment they pick up the phone, we can go, oh no, what's wrong? <laughs> because you can just hear, oh, it's not a good day. Or you can hear 
this unusual excitement in the box with its voice and you know something very wonderful happened and and you go ahead and ask her we just bleed how we really feel into our into our voice and into our tone of voice and especially when we are tired we're not going to be able to hide it so it's in everything that you see and hear with us and then we are going to whine we're going to be a little bit more critical we're going to see the cloud and not the lining and we are going to need you to basically um, get out of the way until we've had a good nap that's the bottom line is you're not going to talk us better when we are tired you're going to have to um, hope that we will fall asleep soon do something that revitalizes us and return with our happy spirit in place because we are not able to switch off the emotional side and switch on the rational side of our box of personality until we have had a good rest. So n n not a lot of good news in that category. Telltale sign of boxwoodness. So if we are the opposite tree and we are a palm tree, it is a different story. We get wilder, louder and more fun and more irresponsible and we exhibit more high risk behavior until we suddenly fall over and we're done. So we're a party animal and all of a sudden we go, oh, okay, I gotta go. And, and we check out. So we are still a lot of fun to be around, even right till our last word uh, or our last little dance for the day. Rose bushes kind of are, are grouped with a box. So it's, uh, rose bushes are not great when they're tired. And the reason is tired equals weak and I'm not weak. So I'm going to fight this tired and prove that I'm not tired. And if you have raised a rose bush, you already know that. They hate the word bed, sleep. They just fume at the mouth and maybe even fill them at the mouth if you tell them that they need to go to sleep. Um, and even as an adult now with the rose in me, people tell me, you look tired, you need to go to sleep. I'm upset. I'm angry. That little kid that doesn't want to be called a baby stands up in me and goes, I'm not tired. And then we just work harder, stay up later, abuse our bodies by not giving it the rest and the nourishment and the liquids it needs. Classic rose to deny that we're tired and to fight the fatigue and to go beyond that point where we were supposed to go to sleep. And I don't know if you know what sleep is like um, for us, but it's like a bus um, in a little town. It only comes by every so many hours and if you miss it, you know, it's kind of over. So that's what rose bushes do. They get this extra breath and then they just keep going for another four or five hours um, until they learn to listen to their bodies and to go down when they're supposed to go down. Sometimes it takes getting really sick before they, or, or get getting burned out before they start paying attention to their fatigue. So if you are seeing somebody in denial of their fatigue, fighting it, um, there's probably some rose bush going on there. And of course, the flowers go away and you deal with the, with the thorns when we are tired because then we're in a hurry to get stuff done. We lose a little bit of perspective. The only thing that remains is the drive to still get a few more things done before I can't go anymore. And if you are in my way and I still have some goals for the day, then the thorns are, are likely going to leave a scar on you. So I give you permission to avoid me when you can tell that I'm tired. Um, me and, and everybody else in my species. And then the last one, the, the pine trees. Oh, bless their hearts, as they say here in the South. <laughs> they just fade. They just go quiet and then kind of get comfortable. And they're gone. So sweet. They are not a problem when they are fatigued. And fatigue is not something they fight. Sleep is their friend. Typically, they when they need to do it, they go down, they disappear. Then there's kids who put themselves to bed. Yeah, some people have those. They just, they just go. That's typically the pine. They just um, exit when it's time to exit. If they don't, and if for some reason they still want to stick around their people, which is the only reason that they will fight fatigue, not for work, not for chores, not for fun, only for togetherness and connectedness will they stay up later and stay uh, with an activity longer than they should. Um, but even then they will become quiet and they will just fade out. When they are really young, they will become a little fussy. But as they get older, they're just, um, they're just quiet and then they're gone. Um, so that's the fatigue pattern of the trees around you. And of course, it becomes a little bit more interesting when the personalities combine. Um, 
And when you want to know what a person is going to be like when they are tired, I suggest you focus on the area called the social profile and you read a little bit about their um, their forest fires, how they communicate and handle emotions because the negative side of the communication profile will definitely feature when we're tired and we will be more sensitive to conflict when we are exhausted. But then also have a look at fertilizer and frostbite because those two areas determine how close we are to burnout. And of course, burnout is fatigue on steroids. So it's constant fatigue and us not getting our fertilizer that pips us right back up and us um, getting too much frostbite, those things that add to our fatigue and can push us to, to the brink of burnout. So if you have not done a Tall Trees Leadership Profile, consider doing that so that you can see these other F words that apply to you, your forces within, those are your natural strengths, your fields of greatness, areas in which you can lead like nobody else can, your uh, fertilizer, these unique needs you have to keep your energy levels up and to keep yourself productive and um, to maximize your leadership impact. Frostbite, the opposite one, all those draining and stress factors. Fast forward all the ways in which you can grow. And um, in every one of these uh, areas, you can find information for both adults and teens. And then, of course, the kids as well. So go and have a look at that and manage your own fatigue according to those guidelines in your Tall Trees Leadership Profile for adults, teens, or then the kids profile. Have fun and have a good rest.